Ask a hundred different people about the Marfa Lights and you'll probably get a hundred different answers about how many there are, how big they are, what color they are, and how close you can get to them. The one thing most folks seem to agree on though is that if you'll come to this spot off Highway 90 about this time of day, pretty soon you'll notice that there's something out there and nobody knows exactly what it is. In January of 88. What happened? Oh, well, I was uh, coming from Alpine. My daughter was with me, and it was about 10.30 at night, and she was the one that spotted them first. I see uh, uh, several lights. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there could be five. They dim, they brighten, then they move, and uh, sometimes they line up, uh, sometimes they split and uh, they're different from any other light. Now, I'm talking about 1943. You didn't have guard lights, you didn't have vehicular traffic, you didn't have uh, yard lights. There was no electricity on the ranches at all. Uh, and all you did have the Marfa lights back then? Oh, sure, sure. On the West Texas Flats, southeast of El Paso. The ghost lights of Marfa continue to glow. I watched them for hours, shining bright as can be. Like the love light shining in her eyes, another mystery. This is the stuff science fiction movies and novels are made of, the mystery lights of Marfa. They're as much a part of this West Texas town as the corner street lights. They've been here since the times the Indians roamed the hills of Big Bend and cowboys drove cattle across Mitchell Flat. Folks around these parts all agree that something mysterious is out there on the desert south of Marfa. But few folks in this adobe and whitewashed town agree on what the ghost lights of Marfa really are. What do you think they are? I don't know. Um, all this time, I think they might be UFOs. That's that's my belief. That's that's what I think. Armando Guterres has been fixing Marfa's headlights most of his life, but he never concerned himself with the mystery lights until about 15 years ago. What do you think they are? Gosh, I don't know. A lot of people ask me the same question. I think it's got to do with the minerals in the soil. Maybe there's some kind of substance in there that, that does that, you know, just in that particular area, you see. Back in World War II, the Army had an air base near Marfa. The only visible lights were in town. Edison's invention hadn't made it to the surrounding farm and ranch houses. That's when pilot Fritz Call first saw the Marfa lights. With black as the ace of spades out here at night. And we could see these strange little lights off in the distance. What about the stories about a big ball of fire coming up and buzzing you around and coming in the car? I'm sorry, I have no, I have absolutely no, I, I just can't stand that sort of prevarication because that's what it is. It's a gross uh, miscarriage of of justice to these little devils because uh, they're friendly. The Marfa Chamber of Commerce president says this isn't a publicity stunt to boost tourism in the town. Scientists and mystery solvers have been unable to explain the hue of flickering lights. Basically, I, I like the folklore aspect of it, and that is it's the Mescalero Apache Chief Alsate looking for his tribe. That, that's the explanation. It's kind of romantic, anyway. It's romantic. That's the real explanation. It's Alsate. They disappeared. Researchers say that most of what everyone sees are probably car lights. But there are still some lights the scientists are not able to explain, like this one that we slowed down, shooting off in a squiggly line from near the radio tower at the lower left. To add to the mystery, our camera recorded something that has never been seen before. We named them the Marfa Flashes. There, did you see it? They only last one sixtieth of a second. 
so quick and dim they can't be seen by the naked eye. They're different shapes and different colors, red, blue, green, and even more white ones. Just like the Marfa lights, the mystery surrounding the source of the Marfa flashes may never be discovered. And the folks around here really don't care to know. Very inexplicable. Don't know what they are. Don't know what they are, but something's out there on, on the Mitchell Flat. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.